All right, friends, we got the fire started, warming it up in here a little bit. Let me touch on a few things and we'll get going. The first thing is I got a new camera. So now I'm able to shoot everything in 4K. So you guys let me know down in the comments how it looks. This is the first day I'm using it. This was a very expensive camera and hopefully it pays off. In the last video, I talked about this wood stove and having to leave the door open. And he left a comment telling me how to fix that and it worked. What they told me, on top of that uh, wood stove, or the ceiling of it rather, inside the wood stove on the very top, there's a gray, it looks like fiber board, and it's really soft. And mine was pushed all the way toward the back and there was a gap in the front. He told me to pull it toward the front, leaving a gap in the back, and that's what it took to fix this stove. So if you have a modern day stove, and it's similar to this one, this is a US stove, I got it at Tractor Supply, Maybe that's your problem if you're having to leave your door open. Look inside of your stove at the very top of it and see if that little gray fiber board is in there. If it is, make sure it pulled to the front of the stove because the, the smoke escapes the stove through the back wall and it goes up the pipe. And that board was kind of trapping it in the back, forcing the smoke to go toward the front and also really messing up the, uh, the vent and everything going on with this whole system here. But I'm tickled to death right now because that was a pain leaving that door open. Now it's working the way it should. And the last thing is the footage at the first of this video was from several months back. That's that giant black walnut log that I bought off a of tree service. And after months and months of kind of putting it off because I've had so many other things to do, we're finally going to get that thing on the sawmill here in a few days. It's too heavy for my biggest tractor. It weighs about 4,000 pounds. So I'm going to hire a skid steer loader to come in here and move it up to the sawmill. I could drag it up there, but man, it would make a mess. So hopefully here in the next maybe week or two, we'll have the skid steer come over. He'll take that up to the sawmill and we'll cut the biggest black walnut that I've ever sawed here on this channel. Actually ever sawed ever. So that's coming pretty soon. So on today's project, friends, we're going to start building our doors here for the shop. I need to build two of them. And hopefully I'll get at least one of them done today. Probably won't get it hung because I've got to do some trim work on these cedar posts right here. I think I'm going to have to build them out about four inches on both sides to accommodate for this thick door we're building. It's probably going to be four to five inches thick. We're going to build these doors out of white pine. The first thing we need to do is take these rust sawn boards and run them through the molder and get a nice square edge on all four faces. Right now these are eight quarter by six inches wide. I'm shooting for an inch and seven eighths and about five and a half inches on the width. This right here will be the frame of the door. On the molder, we're gonna be running this lumber and surfacing it on all four sides and I have something new for the molder. Check this out. So on the molder, our top cutter head is a helical cutter head, which means it has those small cutters instead of your normal planer blades. And now Woodmiser is offering helical cutter heads for the side cutters. Check this out. I can do this without cutting my finger. These things are sharp. So now those little helical cutter heads will mill up the sides of the boards. What that means is I think you get a better finished product with a helical cutter head. And also more importantly, when they get dull, you just loosen that Allen head and rotate it. And you got a fresh cutting edge on all four sides of that cutter. There's no more setting planer blades or none of that stuff. It's a lot faster. And it's four inches tall, so we can now run thicker material through the molder. And for you guys out there that are running this same machine, give Woodmiser a call if you want to order them. I think they're about $500 per head. But if you've changed out a lot of cutter heads in your time and a lot of planer blades, this right here will pay for itself pretty fast.
right guys, welcome back to the mill. This is day two of building our doors. I got cut short yesterday because I was having a lot of audio issues with this camera and I had to watch a bunch of videos and do some settings and try to figure that out. So hopefully today we got a better uh, audio recording of this video. So you're looking at the frame and this is white pine that we milled up yesterday and all of our corners get two eight inch log screws. If you've never used these before, they work really good. They're kind of expensive, but you don't have to drill a pilot hole. All right, so I got my clamp right there to keep my alignment where I want it. I got my log screw halfway bored in. We'll finish this one. I have two more left and the frame will be done. And we can move on to putting the white pine on the outside of this. If you guys don't care, leave me some feedback down in the comments on this camera. I'm trying some color correction stuff. I think I have the audio figured out, hopefully. Famous last words right there. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. All right, guys, one more thing to do this frame I forgot about. Check this out got a large knot right there. That is a major, major knot. And one right here also. I probably would have been better off getting a better board for this side over here, but it is what it is. We'll make good use of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I think it should be about 35 inches. I'm gonna put another cross piece right here. 35, I'll make that about a 30 second over. I want it to be kind of tight. And the reason being that will help this side over here be a little bit stronger in case these knots decide they wanna start moving or give out one day. Who knows about knots? Those are very large ones right there. I tell you what, if I didn't spend two days on this project already, I'd probably take this board off, but I need to get this done. I got two of these to build. All right, so good tight fit right there. That's what I was after. I don't know guys, maybe I need a bigger mallet. I don't know, this one's kind of small. Guys, when it comes to building stuff, I am my own worst enemy because my allowance for tolerances is almost uh, zero, I tell you. I'm really hard on myself. I'm too hard on myself when I build stuff. I like for it to be perfect. I know I can't achieve that, but little stuff like this, it's never gonna matter as far as it being perfectly lined up because it's gonna be hidden anyways. I don't know what it is, I like to get it perfect. It just drives me crazy. And there's a poster over here on my wall and I have to go over and read that sometimes when I'm trying to build something because if I don't, I'll drive myself crazy with trying to make it perfect. Let me show it to you guys. Right there, friends, if it looks straight, it is straight. And that's a poster and a saying by Jimmy DeResta. And that right there, friends, is something I look at all the time because if I don't, I'll drive myself crazy trying to make it perfect. guys I'm working on my layout here and seeing how my boards are going to look and I wasn't going to lay them flat on the frame but I think I'm going to do something different make this a little bit better a little bit tighter seal but that's probably going to have to wait till tomorrow because it's getting late and Bruno just called me from up at the house and it looks like he wants to go get some dinner and he's also got a few errands to run so I'm probably done for the day so thanks for watching, friends. I really appreciate it. Hopefully tomorrow, by the end of the day, we'll have a full-size door to stand up right here behind me. And guess what? 
We gotta build two of them. I'll probably do the other one off camera though. It's gonna be a, the same thing as this one, as long as everything goes as planned. See how it goes.